All right, well, let's continue. New Leaf, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Yeah, I did change the time, so <laughs> the time might be a bit weird because I wanted to see the fireworks. It's okay. Oh, that's right, uh, Mayor Will. There's a new live venue opening up in town from today. Awesome. You know, I'm a huge fan of the artist KK Sly- Ah, that's what it's for. You think he might come to AS and perform? Oh my gosh, if he does come, you've just got to see him. He is so dreamy. I hope you can make it out to a concert sometime soon. I would imagine they're on Saturdays then. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> it looked like this. from my mom. Remember when you were a kid and you ran around saying, I am an alien from Zebatron? What an interesting child. Interesting child, huh? From Paula. You've been a good friend to me, but I decided it was time for this girl to move on. I don't want to get all weepy on ya, so I'm just gonna leave you with a see you soon. Alright, Paula's gone. What's the present? A fan? Like, an actual fan? Oh. The thing is, we don't really use these in Australia. Like, every house practically has proper air conditioning. You kind of have to. But you know, I want to be extra cool. I have my own fans. <laughs> I want an easy thumbnail. There you go. Alright. see this venue first. This is one of the new things I haven't seen, so let's see what it is. Ooh. Club 101? Come on now, you can't come in while I'm in the middle of a- Ah, Mr. Mayor, it's just you. Thanks for all the help you gave me. I was able to open up my very own live venue, thanks to you. I'm getting things set up now at the moment, but we have some sort of music event going on every night. Hey, starting at 8pm, we'll be mixing your favorite DJ hits all night during our DJ party time. More importantly, what do you think of the place? Isn't the stage amazing? I was actually pretty picky about how I wanted it to be. I spent a lot of money on it just to get it the way I like it. It's really an amazing place, huh? Would have been nice to perform on a stage like the one in here, just once. You might not know this about me, but a long, long time ago, I used to get up and perform on stage too. Not as a musician, though. I was a comedian. I retired a while back. But even now, when I see a stage, I can feel it calling me. Shrunk, it says. I suppose that's why, even now, I sometimes get the urge to share my old jokes with people. Ah, if you're interested, I wouldn't mind showing you my stuff during the afternoons when no one's here. I wouldn't ask you to pay me, but I wouldn't turn down a nice treat. Any food pretty much works on me. 
So that's how we'll do this then. Feel free to stop by anytime. I'm going to go get uh, some fruit. Uh, are we ready for some top comedy? I kind of wish this was in New Horizons, not gonna lie. Already. I haven't even seen it and I'm like, hmm, this is better than KK Slider just turning up and sitting in the middle of the town. Alright, let's just... we'll go with these. This is easy enough. I brought a snack. That makes you so happy. What'd you bring me? Durian. Wow, this many? Well, I'll be. You really went above and beyond. But be rude not to accept, so I'll happily accept these as a snack for later. Thank you so much. Now I need to do something rude to really show my appreciation. Ah, oh, that's right. I promised to show you one of my old jokes, didn't I? I guess if there's anything I can do to make you happy, that'd be it. Alright, I have to get ready first, so just you wait right here a sec. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Doctor Shrunk is in the house. My worry joke is just the queen to kill you, you know? Sometimes people say things can really make you feel kind of worried. The other day I was walking around and saw an older lady trip and fall before my very eyes. I was shocked. Of course, I immediately jumped into action to help her. Ma'am, are you okay? I asked. Did you hit your head? Can you say your name and how old you are? Then she jumped right back up on her feet, and you know what she said? Hee hee hee. You and your friends ask a lot of questions. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still trying to process what he said. I mean, I guess I got a laugh out of me. That was my worry joke. What'd you think of it? My comedic style is rather original. I mixed the short story of a punchline to create a, re a reaction joke. I retired a while back, but I think my jokes are still relevant, so I'd like for you to try them out too. I'll give you something else too. You, re you really love this. This is a world-famous joke book. You should always keep it close and record the jokes, I tell you. Plus, you can press on the lower screen to use them whenever you feel like. Okay. Wait, is this for real? Oh! So that's how you do emojis. Alright. I mean, that's cool. I'm gonna get him more fruit. Oh, unless, if it's one per day, I'm going to be sad. I think the music is what made me laugh more than what he was saying. Waka waka! Damn it! And he's just like a fuzzy bear. I can't do a good fuzzy. As long as you want to learn my jokes, I'll keep teaching to you. Get your funny bone ready. Ah, oh, it's only one per day. Boo! Boo! More jokes! Yeah, that's a shame. Alright, it's one per day. Mm. 
I gave him all those extra durians for nothing. A special pre-model- oh, there you go. Upgrading the store. But you don't know what that means yet, do you? I apologize for how sad this is, but we'll be closing our shop on August 17th. After that, we'll be closed while we remodel the store. I apologize for the inconvenience. We ask for your understanding as we become an even better store. The best. Nice. What the hell is this? What am I looking at? What is this? An asteroid! What do you mean, an asteroid? For 900 bells? <laughs> Yes, I'll take the TV and the asteroid, please. That's not what I was expecting it to be. I can't believe that was an asteroid. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on here? What is this? Oh man. Town is expanding. Damn. <laughs> Next time's gonna be cool. Hello, welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace of the One and Only Able Sisters. Alright, what have you got? Very identical clothing. Be in the interest of remaining fresh. Okay, well, this is what I want. That is, like, very vanilla. In fact, don't I have this... <laughs> don't I have this t-shirt? I may have bought the starting t-shirt. My patch, glasses, umbrella. Okay. I, I guess. I wonder if I have anything more fitting. I don't think I do. I might. Let's see. Let's see what I have back at the house. I wonder who's going to move in. Now that we have a free slot. Number one. Deep blue. What's deep blue look like? Here's my favorite. Alice, but I don't think she's in this one. Basketball shorts, grey formal pants. Track jacket, parka, big bro tee, five ball. Grass tea, noodle tea, grey parka, grey tartan, little bro tea, beaded shirt. 
Let's beep it shut. I mean, the noodle tea might work. Man, it makes me miss the wardrobe in New Horizons. I mean, kind of. Alright, what about pants? They can't be shorts. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I don't really have anything better. Or would the grey pants go better because even though they're formal... Nah. They're about the same. Right, those are the shorts. Sure. I gotta just modify my character every time. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna place this asteroid in the middle of- wait, that's flat screen? I don't know, room, what do you mean? How big is this thing? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's on theme with the corn. I guess you, I can't put it perfectly in the middle of the room, can I? It's just... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Well, how big is this flat screen? Oh, it's pretty massive. But I kind of like the old TV. Wait, can I hang this on the wall? No. Oh, 
It just, it's too awkward. Yeah, I think I'm good. I like my little old TV. Since it was right there. Anyone visiting? No. <laughs> really got a water plants more. I think the problem is because I, I just am away for a couple days and when I come back stuff just stops living. I stopped bothering with the balloons once I learned that it's just balloon furniture mainly. Because it, it, I just end up with a pile of it and... I, I mean, I get it, it's money, but... See, if it was a chance to get different kinds of furniture, that would... That would be better. I know I'm talking about New Horizons. <laughs> like I want, I want that from New Horizons. Like I've said before, if the next game is like a mix of this and New Horizons, I'll be happy. Like just take the best from both and then give us a new game. There's nothing about a new game coming out. There's a rumor floating around. Don't know how true it is. It's just like... Grain of salt until you see something, right? But a rumor that they may be remastering the original game. Or like, remaking it. I don't know. Whatever word you want to use. What is that? Looks like a diary. But see, for them to do that, they would have to modernize it and add the conveniences that the other games add. But maybe setting it in the same sort of setting... But, yeah, I mean, there's, there's nothing formal, right? It could just be... Like, hey, do you know how many, how many years in a row they've been talking about the Switch, the Switch Pro? Like, a broken clock is correct twice a day, chat. Eventually they'll get that right, and eventually someone will get it right that there's a new Animal Crossing game. Every year, uh, it's just like, Nintendo developing a new console. At this point, they're gonna get it correct within the next year. And people are gonna be like, see, I told you so. We've been playing this game a lot now. <laughs> See, I, I have become an influencer. 
Where's my paycheck, Nintendo? Oh wait. You want you want me to pay you to play your games, right? That's that's how you had it a few years ago. Did you lose this? Sorry, that's not mine, but it must belong to someone, Cannoli. collecting the fruit. I do regret how close I put these together now. I should have put more distance between them. I just remembered what I did in New Horizons. I think I left a, a bigger, just a slightly bigger gap. It's all right. Once the shop gives me the axe, then I'll I'll fix this abomination I've created. It's fine. Thank you for the follow chat member. Oh. Alright. Who else is around? Junior is your son. I don't think I've seen that villager. I mean, everyone has their preferences. Hey. Colton. Is this yours? Isn't that my book? I thought I'd lost it in my room somewhere, but I guess I dropped it outside. This is actually my diary. What? You don't have one of your own? That's ludicrous. It's a scam. I'm really glad you found it for me. Thanks, girl. Here, you didn't read it, did you? No. Well, aren't you a nice person? Thanks for bringing it back. I know, I don't know if maybe you'd like my maze wall, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, alright? Thanks to you, I didn't accidentally lose something really important, so you will. I mean, you did kind of drop it on the beach. Yeah, see, so that, that's what... That's what nice neighbors do. They don't go around asking their neighbors to purchase something off them for three times the price for shits and giggles, and then going, ha ha, I can't believe you bought that. See how nice I am? Hey, Colton, did you know there's a comedy club open in town? I bet with the kind of drinks you pull all the time, probably be a hit there.
I thought it was going to give me something for buying the item for that price. My town tinked. <laughs> yeah, that's... This is the funkiest of towns. Especially when the villagers are whistling. Wrong tool, wrong tool. Come here. You can just barely see that. I thought it was a speck on the screen. Figured I'd check since I was here. What about you? to be the next one. Another one that I'm not remembering? I do miss the auto stack. Alright, I guess since I'm nearby, I'm gonna just go put this money into the... The museum upgrade thing.
I've <laughs> still got a lot to go. I haven't really focused on this goal. I probably should. I mean, I guess every day I do this, it gets closer. Oh, I should probably clean this up too. Yeah, I mean... One day we'll be able to just do multiple things at once in, in Animal Crossing games. You gotta, you gotta, like, you know, have a little bit of fear in your town. It's honestly mainly for Colton. If anyone's gonna remove a random sign from a bulletin board that he has no association with, it's him. the Karen on the island. I don't know if he's a Karen. It's just... Do Karens scam people? I don't know. Karens complain. I wonder if there's a villager called Karen, then Karen would be the Karen of Animal Crossing. I mean, Anacotti is like the, the firecracker. Gets into fights, spreads the plague. Calls people cannoli. Even, even in a game like this, I can't escape just how Australia's like. I, I get attacked by mosquitoes. Mosquitoes really like me. Must be top quality blood. Long time no see. Have you grown a little taller since I last saw you? That's ridiculous, right? Maybe it's actually me who shrank. That's O plus blood, is it? 
Let me tell you what frustrates me to no end. I mean the quality blood, but like the blood that mosquitoes seek out. I got this, I get this letter from a friend who goes on and on about the big new wind turbine in his town. He thinks his town is better than I ass now. Hey bro, you're the mayor, fund the wind turbine. I'll tell Isabel about it and see if you can work in mayor magic. Jeez. A wind turbine? What kind of magic do you think I have? <laughs> Mayor, please, I need a wind turbine. Whoa, jeez. What blood type in I? I can't remember. <laughs> it's that bad. That's something I feel like all adults should know. But I haven't exactly gotten into... Gotten into the hat. It's like, how tall am I, right? Like, I, I knew it at one point, but now I because it's been years and it just seldom comes up. I just don't know it anymore. It's, it's, it's recorded somewhere. That's the important part. When push comes to shove, uh, it'll be known. What is this? Rice bales? <laughs> I just wanna... Turn my bedroom into just agriculture. But see, uh, this would be nice if I could put them outside, but you can't. Like, what am I gonna do with- I, I suppose you could go for an aesthetic with that indoors. I get asked how tall I am, and then I'm like, I don't know, and then people are like, oh, you must be short then, and it's like, why? Wouldn't a short person worry about how tall they are, and a tall person wouldn't care? <laughs> I mean, let me put it this way, in old Victorian houses, I have to duck my head, or I, I hit my head on the, uh... Almost ceiling. <laughs> I'm not gigantic, but like... What is it? It's... If I convert it to feet. It's like, yeah, like... I'm... I think I'm like roughly six foot, because... It's roughly 184 centimeters. And so, tall enough. But honestly, I, I, I don't remember the last time I had to measure my height, really. Like, pra for a practical use. Oh crap, I, ah, I keep doing this. I'm tall enough for what? I don't know. Cla like, tall enough for that vague classification of being called tall. Like, at a certain point, you know, you stop getting called short. So I guess I'm tall enough for that.
<laughs> to go on all the rides that are theme park. Yeah. I think theme parks are overrated. I just hate lines. I, I like the idea of, of the rides, I do. It's just... It's not my idea of the fun to spend, like, time in a large crowd, line up for hours. For, like, a payoff of a, a few minutes. It's, it's, I'm very lazy. I, spe I guess Australia doesn't help because when there are crowds of people, it gets warm, so... It'll either be you're in a crowd when it's raining and miserable, or you're in a crowd in, in the heat. Either way, not good. You went to a birthday party at a water park, and you waited one and a half hours for a ride. So, uh, how was it? Was it worth it? Would you recommend? Like, imagine being able to watch a movie just to go on a ride. It was fun, but not worth the wait for two minutes. Yep. And that's just how I feel about those, those kind of things. I'm not saying they're not fun, I'm not saying they're not desirable to go to a place like that, but... I don't- I just- I, I hate lining up. <laughs> Like, I'll, li I'll line up for a restaurant. I've done that before, and but it's not like an hour's wait. There's this restaurant I go to where pretty much right as it opens is a massive line. But you wait like 15 minutes and it's worth it. This is like very long and thin. Oh, it's a, an eel. Alright, new donation. Last time you went to a theme park, there were no queues, but it still took longer to get to the rides through the winding queue system than the rides actually lasted. <laughs> Jeez. I think that. Here's the thing. I, I see traffic as the same thing. Like... I hate sitting in traffic like gridlock. Most people I'm sure can uh, agree to that. But, so... I would rather go the extra long way and keep moving and make and make it take like an extra hour to get to where I need to be than to sit in, in traffic that's not moving for like 30 minutes. I would rather go for a drive where I'm constantly moving for an extra hour, just to not deal with 30 minutes of standstill. Because it, it just, it, it drains you, especially if you do that on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's kind of, the, it's kind of the same. But gas is so expensive. Yeah! But it's not like you're saving gas by sitting still. And the thing is, I would rather my morale and mental health uh, stay intact, you know? Like, I don't want to be completely exhausted by the time I get to my destination. I don't want to be in a mood where I don't want to do anything. If I'm in a car and going somewhere, it's because I've... 
I'm either wanting to go and just socialize or do something, so I don't want to be tired, or I'm coming home, and either way, I don't want that either. <laughs> I don't want to go to bed at like six. I've talked about this before, like, in the past, but the reason I live where I live is because it got to the point where, t for me to get home from where I used to live, it was, like, about an hour. About an hour. It wasn't too bad. It's, like, an hour is towards the edge of, like, what's bearable, I think, in terms of commute to work. But then, because, you know, they didn't plan the expansion of... Uh, that area very well. The area just exploded in population, and then what used to be an hour became an hour and a half, and then that became a minimum of an hour and 40 minutes, and then the perfect storm of, like, roadworks. It was like, it could take anywhere between an hour and 40 minutes to three hours. On the worst day, the day that I decided to move Pretty much within a 20 minute drive to work. Um, it took one way, it took four and a half hours, and then the other way took two hours. So that day, six and a half hours of being in a car. Like, I could drive to the next state capital, basically, in the time it took for me to get to and from work that day. And I was with a friend, and, you know, we were talking about it because we had nothing else to do in the car. We both lived pretty far away. And so we did the math. We did some math. This is the math we did. It's like, okay, at worst, you wanted to live, like, about an hour away from work. That's like, okay, you can deal with it. Anything beyond that, it starts getting annoying. So we figured, okay, on average, you are spending an extra 40 minutes minimum per day traveling than we wanted to, right? So we took it that way. So 40, we went 40 minutes a day, and then we like multiplied it by five days a week, and pretty much figured out how much time we spent in a year, like you know, extra time in the car tra traveling to and from work. And it worked out to almost three months of full-time work just going to travel. That's, that's what it was. And when I heard that, it was just like, so basically I'm spending three months of full-time work. I could, I could move to the city and then get three months of my life back. And when I heard it that way, uh, yeah, that, that's it. Like I, I started making the move because it just... When you put it in terms like I like, imagine you could do anything you want. And it's three months of your life that you're getting back, pretty much, in a year. In terms of time, raw time. Instead of sitting in a car, and yeah. Oh. Did we become remote because of COVID? No, it was because of COVID, basically. It was like a push come to shove thing. It's amazing how quickly uh, things get action when you have no choice. Now I roll out of bed. Mm, not really. I, I mean, I still get a, I get up earlier than when I'm supposed to start, but I have a bit of a ritual. I, I make, I go, I either make some coffee myself or go out for a walk and get some coffee from the local place. I do some light reading of, like, day's events and that sort of thing. But, yeah, I mean, even before the remote work thing, just the fact that it wasn't taking me almost two hours to get home, like, was a massive, just, shift. In terms of, uh, just what I could get done in a day, and also my general mood and well-being. Uh, 
I'm better than you. You roll out of bed and write on the computer. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you do what you need to do, who cares how you get there and when. You had remote access before COVID, but you still had to be in the office four days a week. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that all just comes from just... <sighs> it's such an old mindset, it's just, if I'm not watching my employees, they're not going to be working. That's the mindset it comes from. Because they think, like, every single employee is going to be... Just the stereotypical, oh, yeah, no, they, they don't want to work. They're not going to do their jobs if we're not watching them 24-7. I'm glad, like, we decided to stay completely remote. There's no pressure to go back to the office. Now you have to be in the office twice a month. A lot of departments have to be two, three days a week. Those days you're in are the least productive. You know, I can imagine, because you're traveling to work. And you have to deal with the ongoings of a day, and it's just, like... Here's the thing. <laughs> if I was in an office, there, there's less of a barrier when it comes to communication. Like, in the office, and I'm, uh, this is not a complaint, this is just stating what happened, right? Just to be clear. But I would have people come to my desk and talk to me and ask me stuff, or like, you know, which... They're supposed to. But I found that working remotely, that stuff happens less. You know, when, when someone is just uh, across the room, it's easier to go over them and ask them something versus like you sending them a message and then they answer in the time, in their time, you know? So I think just based on that fact, like I get more stuff done in a day because there are times where I'll go, okay, uh, I want to focus on what I'm doing right now. So for the next hour or so, that's what I'm doing. And then I'll respond to messages after and people respect that. Whereas when someone walks up to your desk, it's a lot harder to just, you know, tell them go away. <laughs> Not in those words, but you know what I mean. So I think in that regard, that's why I get more done. That's me. It's just less people coming to my desk. And I get to pick when I answer things. There's a lot of studies show that, like, when you're at extreme focus, to get back to that state takes quite a bit of time. So when someone interrupts you, it's like, to get to that point where you are focusing, um, yeah, it's not something that happens immediately or within a few minutes. It takes, like, at least an hour to get back to that point. And if people are just stopping by to your desk constantly... It's not everyone, like, but on average, that's just apparently how it is. So that's yeah, I get more I get more stuff done. Yeah, you've been remote for four years, but they haven't made it official. I mean that's as official as it gets. Grumpy looking as the people don't come to your desk. Uh, I mean, I, I have my days. I've been told that when I'm focused, I, I, I have this look on my face. It's not, it's not like it's an angry look. It's more of a like, oh shit, he's like deep, deep into something. Shouldn't bother him.
Oh, Gulliver's here. I have been told that, like, when I'm tired, like, I, I haven't slept, I, I do look a bit... It's not like resting bitch face, it's more just, I don't know. Wake up. I can't believe how seriously unconscious I am right now. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot to swap back to, uh, there we go. Not that much was going on on the bottom screen. I am the alpha male. No, today isn't a school day. Uh, yeah, I checked. <laughs> uh, Lizzie. But you were my lobster. I can't believe how seriously I'm conscious I am right now. <laughs> ah, ah, what happened to me? Where am I? Uh, am I Gulliver? Hey, I remember my name. Nice to meet you. My name is Gulliver. I'm a sailor, of course. Oh man, I think my cage got rattled pretty bad. I'm feeling a little bird-brained at the moment. Get it, cause I'm a bird! Sorry, that was, like, for comedic effect. I shouldn't have yelled that loud. But that's what the microphone is here for. It compresses the audio so then it doesn't destroy your ears. Ha 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 ha. I quack... Oh, god damn it. I quack me up. Hmm? You're acting pretty calm about this. So, Mr. Cool Cat, will you listen to my sad tale of doom and gloom? Truth is, I fell over the side of my boat and was swept away by the waves. Yeah, it was because of a 90-foot monster. No, two. Uh, I hate when that happens. Blasted monsters stole my memory and my sandwich. Where was my boat headed before it was hurled off course? I can't seem to remember. With my trusty thinking cap on. Oh, I know. It's so obvious. You really helped me out where I was headed. Also, hey, Messiah again. <laughs> I'll help you. Hey, thanks, I haven't met someone so willing to help a total stranger since the residence of Rico Harbor. Alright, I'll tell you everything I remember about my destination before my mind goes blank. In this place, there were ninjas and samurai, and just so many heroes all over at all times. It's, it's America, isn't it? America! It's America! It's America! But ninjas and samurais don't wander the streets anymore. The things of the past kind of makes a seagull sad. That's why I, Gulliver, I'm going to start a new wave of manly sailor popularity. We're like sea ninjas. Hmm, what's the name of the country, though? Does it sound familiar to you? You don't have ninjas? Lies! <laughs> you have ninjas! Excuse me, I seem to recall a, a group of four particular ninjas that live in New York, huh? What about them? Hmm? Um, but see, this is, like, they're turtles. Yeah, but they're ninjas. Didn't say humans. Said nin- just said ninjas. That's it, that's it. I was headed to Japan. You're really amazing. Perhaps you have a link to the- did it- did they really just drop a reference to a link to the past in the middle of this? Perhaps you have a link to the past with that country or something. Anyway, thanks to you, I feel like the sea fog is this from my head. Thank you so much. I'll head up to Japan to experience some of everything, but not wasabi. That's hot stuff. I promise I'll send you a fancy souvenir. It might take a while, but you'd better get your hopes up. Of course it's USA, that's the whole world, right? Yeah, I mean, they have the World Series, which only features America, so... I think... I think you know they are the whole world. Ooh, Beetle. <laughs> that's baseball, I know. I just find it... I, th I thought for the longest amount of time when I heard that name on TV, it was like some something like the Olympics, but of baseball. Until um, an American friend explained it to me and was like, no, no, it's, it's just 
It's just us. It's like, then why do you call it the World Series? It's just me not knowing about sports. Why not? I don't know. It usually implies that um, more than one country is involved. It's like if, if it's like if me and my neighbor had a thumb wrestling competition, and then we called it the World Thumb Wrestling Competition. You know. If you guys can call it the World Series, and I will call my stream, I'll call like myself the internationally renowned, you know? World famous, internationally renowned streamer. Keep getting bitten. This, 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 this is like real life right now. I keep getting bitten. Technically, I'm internationally known. Yeah, but that's one of those things where, you know, if you put it in terms of. Again? <laughs> Where is this fucking mosquito? How many times? I was like, if you ever see the old, the oldest episodes of The Simpsons, Lionel Hutz, the lawyer, is like, you know, there's the truth, and the truth! <laughs> Just... I can't believe I have to explain that reference, but we're at a point in time where I feel like it's divided now. There are people out there that are going to be like, what the fuck is he talking about? The Simpsons? Who watches that anymore? Where's my Spongebob references? There's nothing wrong with Spongebob, by the way, it's more just... I think Spongebob is the new Simpsons, in terms of people making references to it, you know? It's like, you're gonna fall into two camps, people that reference The Simpsons as, like, the childhood cartoon, or people that reference Spongebob as the childhood cartoon, where they've seen basically every episode and remember most of the lines. You can be both, but... How have I already been playing this game for an hour? You weren't allowed to watch The Simpsons as a kid? Oh, really? I remember briefly for a while, my, my dad did not let us watch The Simpsons either because just the whole Bart strangling thing, <laughs> we thought it was hilarious, but he was kind of worried. It's like, oh no, shit, I don't want them repeating that. Until we got a bit old enough where it's like, okay, I can trust that they're not going to do that. Ooh, what is this music? I like this theme.
Very nice theme. I need a I need to watch SpongeBob. I kind of want to watch SpongeBob. I did like it. It's just it... Do you know when I used to watch SpongeBob? <laughs> For some reason it used to be on at like 2 in the fucking morning. And just in the era um I was sleeping on on a fold-out couch that was uh kind of broken and had a bar that would almost stick into my back if I didn't lie down at a precise spot. So often I would sleep on the floor. And those nights when I couldn't sleep, Spongebob. It's like Spongebob at 2am. And then for some reason some very old 1970s um, kids show. It was called HR Puff and Stuff. Because I couldn't, I couldn't go to sleep, I'd watch it. And it was just... Just bizarre. It, it almost felt like it wasn't a real show. Like, I'm, I'm convinced that it, it was just like a parody or something. Because I, I can't believe that something like that would exist. But yeah, I was like, that, that was my life in that era. Can't sleep, watch Spongebob for an hour, and then if I was still awake, HR Puff and stuff. Until I fell asleep. And used to stay up to watch Outlaw Star. What's Outlaw Star? Let me see what this is. The other channel that I did frequent was Boomerang. So they had um, episodes of the Wacky Races. And old Hanna-Barbera cartoons on. So How do I keep getting bitten? It's an anime. Okay, got it. <laughs> it's one of them animes. Never saw Outlaw Star. No, I mean, so my my thing with anime is, I I enjoy it, I partake in it, but like, it was basically you know. The most stereotypical ones growing up as a kid. So, you know, your Dragon Ball, your Digimon, your Pokemon. Um, Yu Gi Oh! kind of skipped it. Beyblades. Um... And then there's like just this large gap of me not watching it for the longest amount of time. And then sometime in my 20s, I was like, you know, I, I wanted to watch more of it. So I took recommendations from friends, and I was like, this has to be, this has to be stuff where I, I don't want you to recommend everything. I want you to like, be like, you know me and you know the sort of stuff I like. And it has to be something where I'm not gonna have to go, oh, I'm gonna watch one season to give it a chance or one arc. So I'm pretty particular. Instead of, instead of anime, I was watching, like, a lot of comedy shows, to be honest, in that era. So stuff like that 70s show, Scrubs, um, just adjacent things to that. Outlaw Star is kind of like Cowboy Bebop. Oh, th those are some big, big shoes to live up to. Outlaw Star is older, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it says Space Opera Western as a description, so... Let's see if it's on thingy. 
uh, streaming service. It is not on streaming service. That's okay. Worth a look. Well, Australia. That's the thing. We don't have everything. I mean, I'm checking Crunchyroll. Just... Briefly, because that's the one I have. It's on Hulu. Australia doesn't have Hulu. Gah, why am I holding it? <laughs> why? Why are you holding a shark? Okay. Yeah, I mean, once I get through the rest of one, I'm almost caught up with One Piece. As crazy as that might sound, I'm getting there. I just don't want to spread myself too thin checking out too many things at once, because then I won't get through them. I like to invest my time into one thing. Focus on it. Get through it. And then go to the next. So it's on Funimation too. Then why is it not on Crunchyroll? But then again, it's like, again... It's not the service, it's the fact that I live in Australia. It could just be a matter of um, a licensing thing where it's just not available in Australia, period, regardless of streaming service. Because that happens a lot. It happens a lot. <laughs> so one thing Australians know how to use, you'd be surprised, is uh, VPNs. But it, they're not as uh, reliable as they used to be. A lot of services can pick up on the fact that you're using one now. Which is a bit annoying. If it ever comes up on a streaming service, then give it a try. I will try my best to remember it, but I am absolutely horrendous with names. Just, just putting that out there. <laughs> if this is the only conversation we have about it, and then it's like, you know, it does get added in, say, a year, I won't realize it's been added because I would have forgotten the name by then. I'll go donate more money. Me as well. Uh, 
Uh... A friend of mine once showed me that there are these posters you can purchase. That have, like, an anime checklist. They're pretty cool. It's like top 50 or something. And then you can put it on your wall and kind of tick them off. But see, that's, that'd be a nice thing if I didn't have to, like, uh, submit a form and get approval <laughs> to put the damn thing up. And then wait six months. I really like this theme. It's it's very relaxing. We haven't really heard much of the nighttime music in this. the fruit though. So is this just like night <laughs> the night the river is just eels at night? That's one thing that I, I have to kind of have the fortitude, well not the fortitude, that's the word I'm looking for, but it's not guts either, but you know, I've heard eel is, is, is nice, like particularly in Japanese food, it's supposed to be really nice. But it's just, I don't know. The problem I have with trying that stuff is... It's, when I go to a, a Japanese restaurant, there's a set thing, there's a set amount of things that I like. And it's like, it, it, it'll always go up against like, you know, the ramen, the uh the curry dons just all all the good stuff sushi or like the the egg rice now so for me to get it it's just i have to go out of my way and be like all right 
You wouldn't want to waste money on it if you didn't like it. Yeah. I mean, I can understand that to a degree as well. But it's another thing where it's just like if... You apply the whole... I don't want to waste money... In the risk of, like, not liking it... Then you're just gonna experience the same things over and over again. I just, I think I need a scenario where, like, I need to go with someone that has had it before, and they like it, and then if I don't like it, it's just like, okay, here, take it. And then it doesn't go to waste, and it's like, alright, well, someone's eating it. But the thing with the egg rice was, like, I think that one was less of a jump. Because it's like, okay, it's it's egg, it's rice, it's just in this Japanese style. Like the omu rice thing. Omelette rice. So I think that was less of a leap, and I figured, okay, there's a likelihood that I'll like this. But with the eel, it's a bit of a gamble. I have rolled the dice on stuff, like, you know... The octopus balls, for example, the takoyaki. Just, when you hear them, the word octopus balls, it just, I think, oh, no, that, I probably won't like that. But they're really good. And that was a case of just one day I was like, alright, you know what? I have seen these just in so much media, and they're always just presented as this really delicious street food. It's like, it has to be. And it was good. Don't think you've had octopus. I mean, that one is, is certainly like an, an acquired taste. Apparently I'm not an acquired taste because I keep getting bitten. Is it anything like squid? Uh, chewy -er. The Squid you can get... Yeah, I mean... I would say octopus is a bit chewy -er. I think it... I think the reason people don't like it is more of a texture thing as opposed to a taste. It's nothing like calamari. I think you can get very good octopus, but the times I've had it has been in, like, pasta, in particular, like... It's a common ingredient in the marinara style. Wait, not marinara, what's the word? I'm, thinking, I'm mixing words. See, it's the seafood pasta in Italian. It's like, it's ma, it's just mare. It's like, I should have picked up on that, because mar is ocean in Spanish, that makes sense. Anyway. <laughs> I knew it was incorrect the moment that I said it. I think that's probably the, the best way to try it, is like in the pasta format, you know? Then if you don't like it, you can put it aside and still enjoy the pasta. If 
funky town. One day I'll try the eel. I bet it probably just tastes like fish. I bet it, it's just, it's just fish. Like, probably like, like a crocodile where it's just chewy fish. No one else uses the shop. You've had gator? Does gator taste like, uh... Chewy fish? That's what- that's what crocodile tastes like. Like a sausage? What? Really? But, how did you- how did you have it prepared? That's not what I was expecting. The way I had a cro the crocodile was like in a stew, so it was pretty much in its original form, more or less, so... Just tasted like chewy. Slightly chewy fish. You were tricked. They told you it was pork. It wasn't. Ah! Oh no. I thought socks. It was in a stew. Right, gotcha. I mean, if they had said it was Gator, would you have tried it? My view is if it smells nice. looks nice, then I'll try it. Because it's just, you just need to put it aside sometimes. It's like the first time I can I ate kangaroo. Smelt nice, looked nice, I ate it without any questions. Didn't think of what it was. I knew it wasn't a normal animal, <laughs> that's for sure. Back. You have the plank! I'm not tired, just... Vesta, Vesta, stand still. 
What the? I can't beat it, the bridge! <laughs> What? How to flee on me? Ew. I try so hard to stay clean, too. I don't know what happened. I shower all the time. Please don't tell anybody about this. It's okay. You're very polite. Hey, Will. Didn't you tell me you want to get your hands on the shower? What? Are you hinting something here, Colton? Well, I'm sure you did, Will. I mean, I think I'm a pretty good listener, Will. Either way, we're sort of on our way to being friends. It's a scam. So take this item, it's all yours. Now, if we weren't friends already, that should hopefully speed things up. It's a scam. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the greatest catchphrase anyone has ever given. Honestly. So, uh, I have a shower now. No, for when I just need to clean. I need to clean my vegetables, my corn. I have this handy faucet. Oh. That's interesting looking. It's like those mazes you get on placemats at restaurants. Look, chat, it's a corn maze room. <laughs> uh, I'm leaving it like this. This music, it's just... I think this is my favorite track I've heard so far for this. <laughs> oh, this is how you know I'm getting tired. Whoops. Finger slipped. Ah, I thought it was going to be on that one. Thank you, thank you. 
I want to hear more jokes. <laughs> How much more time is left until... Like, uh... 20 something more minutes. Until... The... What do you call it? The club opens. I wanna see it. I wonder if we're gonna get any club promoters in town. <laughs> Just... Hey, man. You wanna go out on Saturday night? Just remember to use my list, yeah? Just when you get to the door, just, you know, tell them Dave sent you, yeah? Just Dave's list, yeah? Oh, do I get anything for it? Nah, man, just, like, you know, say you're you're on Dave's list. Right, but do I get, like, cheaper entry, a drink? Like, what's going on? Just, just use Dave's list, man. Everyone uses Dave's list. You gotta be on Dave's list. Oh, so I can't get in unless I use your list? N no, just, just use Dave's list. Oh, man. I, I, I knew some people that, um, yeah, used to- Oh, that was a good video! <laughs> um, that used to do that. Just... Club promotions, so there's pretty much one around just asking people to use their name when you got to the door. It's like they would get, I guess, it was like commission, but you wouldn't get anything for doing it. It's just like, okay, cool. One of the places I remember they'd give you like a dollar off, but it was just a dollar, really. Hey Dave, man, I, I, I used your list. I got a dollar off. What can I buy off a dollar? Ah. 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 Did you get your stamp? Nah, I didn't. Ah. Well, go to go to the door. Tell them Dave sent you, and then you get a stamp for a dollar. It'll let you back in the club if you uh, walk outside. You know. But only if you tell them Dave sent you, yeah? Dave's list, yeah? Oh, so I can't get the stamp any other way? I can't just walk up to the security guard and be like, Hey, can I get a stamp? And pay him a dollar? Nah, man, like, you know, it's just, I, I, I know the guy, Jim, yeah? Jim's not gonna give you a stamp unless you tell him Dave, Dave sent you. Dave's list. I don't know what I don't know what what I'm doing with this bit, but I guess I'm killing time until the, the club opens. Yeah. 
So what you do, right? You take this boot, you take it to the door, and then you tell them Dave sent you, yeah? You hand over the boot, and then you get a dollar off entry. Dave's list, yeah? Best list in town. Don't, don't, don't use Sarah's list. Dave's list, yeah? I think I need to go to bed. Alright, so this is what you do, right? If you have a shark with you, you tell them Dave sent you, and then they'll let you in with the shark. The delirium? I don't know. Sometimes I find certain things funnier than anyone else and I just I kind of cling on to them a little bit. I mean, you don't know if something's going to be relatable unless you say it, so I guess what I was saying wasn't relatable. <laughs> uh... Now nah, see, man, you didn't use Dave's list. You know what's relatable? Getting into the club with Dave. All the girls, they use Dave's list, yeah? <laughs> it's funny, I mean, I just want to know if anyone else knew, like, someone that used to promote for clubs and would do that shit, like... Ask... Hey, use my list when you get to the door, yeah? Dave's list, yeah? <laughs> Seeing it on TV, don't get out much. Fair enough. I haven't done that sort of stuff in a very long time, but just back in the day. Back in simpler times, when I was but a humble clerk working in the gaming section at Kmart, one had to t entertain oneself. That's what my group of friends used to enjoy doing. Do you know what they got out of it was pretty much they, they would get into the place free <laughs> and then get something for it. I don't think they actually- I think some of them got paid, but some of them was just like, oh, if enough people said your list, you would get in for free. Which, eh. Once, two of them got into an argument in a line. Because, so, let's just say, the other guy was called Chip. So, we're in line, we're going to use Dave list, Dave's list, because Dave's our friend, right? And he said, use Dave's list. And then this guy called Chip, and he's like, hey dudes, you wanna... You wanna get in? Yeah? Yeah? Walking? I'm gonna... I'm gonna let you in on a secret. You just... Use Chips List, yeah? Get a dollar off... Off entry, yeah? Chips List, yeah? And this dude's going up and down the line just telling people to, to use his list. 
Then Dave comes out of nowhere and he's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, oh, what, what, man? It's just, you know, telling people to use my list. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck are you trying to do? Telling people to get, to stop using Dave's list and to use Chip's list. Dave was, um, let's just say a little bit, uh, on the spicy water at that point, but... <laughs> he, he did refer to himself in third person. <laughs> so he went through the line and was like, Guys, don't listen to this guy. It's Dave's list, yeah? Dave's a... I don't want to say the word, but you know... Australianism that, um, will... will probably, uh... not be liked by YouTube, but, you know... It's a term of endearment in Australia. Starting with the letter C. Not meant in a negative connotation, but more like, this dude is great. So that word. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry guys, I don't, I don't know what that was, but like... Kids these days just think they can walk up to a line and just take all of Dave's friends. Fuck that. It's alright, I know you guys are loyal, yeah? You're gonna use- you're gonna use Dave's list at the door, yeah? Will, listen. I heard that if- if you use Dave's list at the door, and some girls overhear you, they'll know, oh man, this guy's like, fully sick, yeah? He knows Dave. Gets people into the club. <laughs> uh... Fifteen minutes ish, okay. Hey Will. Did you see my 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 post on Facebook? Going out tonight, yeah? Dave's list, yeah? You didn't check Facebook? Brother. Tonight, we're going out. Yeah? Get there at 11. And when you get to the door, use Dave's list. Gets you one dollar off entry, bro. I'll be there later. Am I still friends with Dave? Yeah, I mean, you haven't seen old Dave in a while, but... It's just one of those things that, um... How should I put it? Dave is in a different phase of life compared to me. That's all. Probably still has his list.
<laughs> have two pieces of trash now. But, uh, that's gonna cost me. Alright. I may as well go get rid of it. Yeah, honestly, the I just kind of just got tired of that stuff. It was going somewhere to line up, pay to get in, and then often the place would get really packed, where you couldn't really do much anyway, and it was just like, okay, cool. And then just sometimes, uh, let's just say people are the worst, and having to deal with that just... I reached the point where I was like, I'm good. No more. Rather stay at home. Yep. Or just go somewhere more casual. You know? More laid back. What? The fuck would you want to go there, man? They don't have a list. Like... Brother. If you don't have a connection to the venue, how are you going to have the best time and meet all the girls? Nah, man, I got, I, I, I got your back. Come out, yeah? Come out tonight. Don't worry about that chill shit. Hey, listen. I'm gonna let you in on a secret, yeah? When you get to the door... Tell them... Dave's List. 420. You thought I was going to say Dave's List, but no. This is a special list, bro. VIP. That's how they know. You know me, Dave. But only for you, man. Can't give the shit out to everyone. I have to stop. I, what, what, I've been on this thing for like 15, 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> I have to stop. <laughs> Hello, Will. You know how I always call you Will. How would you feel about a new nickname to keep things fresh? Like what? Um, how about Cupcake? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'm so glad you like it. Then it's settled. From now on, I'll call you Cupcake. Call me Dave. That's how you get all the girls, yeah? I take his name and I say I'm Dave, then I go to the club and say it's my list. And then all the girls are like, oh my god, it's Dave. I can get into the club. For a dollar less. <laughs> Hi YouTube, yes. Hello, YouTube. How's it going? If you're watching later. I'm just indulging chat. There have been YouTube comments that say hi, Twitch. <laughs> it's... it's happened. Has it? Yeah. Couple times. I think I saved an image. Hold on. Oh, look! I got bitten by a mosquito!
And I, I swear I saved a screenshot of it somewhere. Hold up. It may not be on this drive, we'll see. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a familiar, there's a familiar uh, name on it. But look, see. <laughs> it does happen from time to time. I'll I'll load up YouTube Studio. And then just see that. I see the comments. Still not time yet, almost time. Hey, well, finally running into you here, fathers. So, what's up? Let's chat. Be careful you don't lose your wallet. I'm only telling you this because I do it a lot. Hey, Tucker. Tucker. You going out tonight, yeah? Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. Listen. When you get to the door, when you get to the door, you tell them Dave sent you, yeah? Dave's list. One dollar of entry, yeah? You take that dollar, you put it towards a drink. Yeah, that's right, I got your back. You guys are going to get tired of this by, by the end of the stream. Oh, really? I thought I hadn't donated that bug yet. I guess once I hear the clock, that's when it's time to go. I'm looking forward to seeing what this is. Scorpion. Oh my god. Okay, hold up, hold up. I need I need an angle where I can see it. Oh, this is bad. The problem is I can't see shit. Is it gone? 
I don't hear the... Okay, I think it's gone. I need to be careful. It's probably still nearby. We all know what that means. Hey, brother. You going into the club, yeah? Brother, listen. You want to get a dollar off, yeah? Tell the guy at the door, Dave's List. Brother! Dave's list, yeah, brother, brother, da Dave's... <laughs> oh shit, it's actually a real club. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, well, you're here too, man. So cool, right? Dog! <laughs> So what's up? Let's talk. And I'm gonna end up sleeping in tomorrow. Is it dollars there? Yeah, it's dollars. It's short for dollar dues, but yeah, it's dollars. I so I can't talk to him? I was hoping I'd get music off him, you know? Just to be clear, it's it's dollars, not dollar dues. <laughs> That's a Simpsons reference. Ten thousand dollar dues. Tobias, did you send the letter to a bot, Simpson? Or a phone call? It was a phone call. See, I can't even remember the reference. <laughs> That's pretty adorable, to be honest. Why can't this be in New Horizons? Oh, damn. What? That's so good! Yeah! Wait a minute, that might trigger DMCA. <laughs> like, it sounds like a real song, and then this VOD gets flagged because it's like, Oh, you're playing Funky Town. Copyright strike. <laughs> that was so good, I like that. This is, this is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yes! Shit, the board, dude. <laughs> I 
I want you to get out there, show me your moves, become the king of the dance floor, hop to it. Yeah, dance right, press any direction you want. Oh, this is great. This was worth the wait, to be honest. Hey, man! Did, did Dave let you in here? Got one dollar up! <laughs> oh, dear. That was fun. I love just how muffled it is, like this is this is exactly it. Club 101. Ah, <laughs> oh, the music is different now. I like the previous song. This one's alright, but The other one, I liked more. Alright. Well, there's your, uh, your Animal Crossing stream for the day. And, in case the last hour wasn't obvious, I need to sleep. <laughs> Clearly. When I start saying or doing weird shit or sounding strange, that's when the bed should be something I go and try to get into. <laughs> yeah. Alright, anyway, thank you so much for watching if you're watching later on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed and have been enjoying so far. Uh, yeah, we'll do more of this soon. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to support the channel, just remember the button clicking for the algorithm. And uh, maybe two other videos have popped up and you want to watch me play something else. But just Tom Dave sent you, yeah? Yeah? Dave's list, yeah? Yeah? Dave's list, yeah. Yeah, that's right. You click those videos and you tell him Dave sent you, yeah? <laughs> Bye, YouTube.